I don't think there's enough emphasis on being who you are, like really being who you are. I think uh, parenting is kind of like gone by the wayside and they're letting kids kind of decide where it's like. I think it's more fear of societal pressure. I heard an example of a young boy that came downstairs and he was wearing a dress and heels. And he's like, I'm a girl today. Mom and dad were like, ha, 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 cool, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. Put your clothes on and you got to go to school. You're not wearing a dress to school. You're a boy. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, cool. Bye, dad. And gets dressed and goes to school. Now parents are like, oh, he just said he's a girl. He must be a girl. We're going to have to accept that he's a girl. No. He's seven. He's just playing. When I was little, I wanted to be a tiger when I grew up. So, <laughs> Am I a tiger? <laughs> listen. There's grade schools where they are allowing people to identify as cats and they meow to each other. I swear to God, I saw a video of it. I watch way too much YouTube. So I'm sorry. They're meowing at each other and they said, you have to, the teacher, they yelled at the teacher because the teacher would not identify them as a cat. They're like, you have to identify them because they are identifying as a cat and God forbid you don't declare that they are a cat. There's gotta be a line. And you know, it. <laughs> this is one of those things that, you know, I know there could be some negative feedback on, but I was bullied. I was severely bullied. So was I. And to the point where it, it got into a physical aspect where I was pushed down a flight of stairs. I was kicked in the ribs. Like, I was physically bullied mm-hmm. and picked on relentlessly. I'm perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing. I was really into books, and I was a horse girl. I'm a, I'm a grown-up horse girl now. I work with okay. horses. Mm-hmm. But I was picked on for it. And you know what? I became normal. I stopped doing the weird stuff. And I think that society now is just so fearful of getting lashed out on Mm -hmm. when I think that it's healthy to be bullied a little bit. I mean, I bully myself every time I'm in the gym. I'm like, if you don't finish this rep, you're a loser and you're not allowed to leave here a loser. Mm -hmm. You don't finish this and you're done. You're a loser. For the rest of the day, you're a loser until you come back in here and you prove yourself, which is why I train to failure. And, you know, I'm not lifting heavy weights. Sure. But, you know, lightweight, heavy reps. And I go until I'm shaking when I leave. Yeah, you're training to exert. You're training to exertion. I bully myself through my workouts. I bully myself daily. And you know what? I become better for it. So there's got to be an idea of as a parent, as a role model where you say, hey, this this isn't normal behavior. And maybe you should talk to somebody and we'll figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it's coming from overexposure to the Internet which is becoming increasingly an issue with child grooming, with these mental health issues. Women are comparing themselves to edited images on the internet versus going out and seeing, you know, a normal person every day. And I think it really just comes down to overexposure to the internet without any parental supervision. That these iPad kids are the ones that are acting weird. They're the ones that have no, you know, physical awareness. They have no spatial awareness. They're, they're more prone to fall over and hurt themselves because they don't go outside. They don't build the muscle. They don't, you know, integrate themselves and become a productive member of society. Well, what is it doing to their brain chemistry? You know, what is it doing to their dopamine responses when they are constantly being stimulated by a small screen or, you know, iPad or the TV? It's constant screen and When you don't have it, you're going to be bored and you're going to be depressed. And you're not going to feel the vigor of real life because it's not as stimulating. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate you paying attention. I appreciate you talking in the comments. I appreciate you guys messaging me. I appreciate you guys sharing this. If you guys want to watch more of this content, take a click right here. You can get more videos. Have a good day.